look at it. Give me a line. <laughs>
1920 brick uh, built Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Uh, about 50 horsepower, it's an eight and a half by 10. We have uh, bought it in Charleston, South Carolina, about five miles from the port. All right. And it's wood burner? Uh, yes, wood or coal. Wood or coal. All right, how long does it take to get it prepped to run? Uh, it takes about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours? Yeah. That includes going all over everything, oil it and greasing it. Yeah. Getting the fire lit, a big one, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, is this going to operate? Yeah, in here about, uh, about two o'clock. Just about probably 15, 20 minutes. All righty. Uh, we'll come back and we'll see your engine running. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
contrast. All right. Go ahead, gentlemen. Tell us a little bit about this uh, shop. Hi. This is Rich's Welding Plant. It was originally a machine shop located on Franklin, uh, Franklin Boulevard in, in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, it was located about where the police station is now. Um, about 40 years ago, the uh, machinery in the shop was donated to Gamtra. Gamtra is... Gaston Agricultural Mechanical and Textile Restoration Association. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> He's had more practice than me. Absolutely, me too. It um, was donated to um, was donated to Gamtra about 30, 40 years ago, and it was put in storage. Uh, this young man came along and built a shop, a uh, replica of the 1890 shop that Rich's welding plant was in, um, as an Eagle Scout project. Um, the machinery was moved in here. Um, the club was lucky enough, fortunate enough, to recover the overhead, overhead shafting pulleys uh, and mechanisms from a mill that was located in South Carolina. Um, it is a discussion whether it was a feed mill, a coffin shop, or a lumber mill. We don't know for sure, but they recovered the machinery so we'd be able to get the machinery working. We came together about six years ago and started to work on uh, restoring, or actually restoring probably isn't an accurate word, but refurbishing the machines and giving an opportunity to show people about, um, about Rich's welding plant and the history of machining in Gaston County, North Carolina. Uh, Joe can tell you more about the machine shops as he's a job, a machinist himself. <laughs> so we Pretty much <clears throat> all these machines are turn of the century machines. We have this is a 1925 South Bend uh, Junior, which is a nine inch lathe, bench top lathe. Uh, we have a 1905 lathe over here. Um, our camelback drill is uh, sometime in the 1800s, late 1800s. Uh, it's around probably 1890s uh, from what we've been told. Uh, we have a couple old mills over here. Uh, our Bristol Miller is a 1897 patent, so we know it's pretty old. Uh, we run everything on a, on a 1920 Alice Chalmers electric motor. Uh, not fire. Clear? demonstration uh, that way people can see that our machine shop is actually a functional machine shop. Uh, can you can you feel that shaft real quick? Well, right. I, I thank you very much for all your time thank and you, uh, I'm certain that you've given a little bit of information people can use on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.
I need that hat. See it? God, I need that hat. My wife has one that says, Dysfunctional Veterans Wife, Leave Me Alone. <laughs>